So today it is the doe's turn. Um, we're going to trim all of their hooves and let them join back together again. And it'll be just kind of like the bucks, but not so aggressive. They're all going to have to figure out their pecking order again. And I get my does back. Uh, we also have to do the three weathers and little Miss Lodi. We're going to join them with the does as well. So, got a lot of work to do. A lot of hooves to trim and my hands will definitely be broken by the end of this. Let's go. Alright, so here's the plan. We are going to work our way through the pens. We're, we're up here in Anna and Elsa's pen first. Um, and then we will just kind of throw them throw the milk stand over as we go and then I want to join them all together at the same time uh, for the big mix-up so if you guys saw our last video when Champ and Lucky were together it was just the two of them obviously they were fighting it was a little bit worse than when all four of them were together so that's what we're hoping to to achieve here when we join them together that it's not as big of a brawl as if there's just a couple here and there and here and there as we as we join them so that is the goal. We're going to start getting their hooves trimmed. Come on, girl. It's been a while since she's been up in the stand. Oh, look at her. Good girl. Miss Anna here is the one that needs Lucky to get her bread because he won't take no for an answer. She's, she's a chunky girl. But she is the last one due here in the herd. March 22nd is her due date. So, she's a little bit chunky. But, let's get your hoobies trimmed, girl. Not too, too bad. It's important to make sure they have really good feet to stand on as they're gaining all this weight pregnant. So this is going to be Anna's second freshening, which means the second time she had kids, the second time she fills her udder, technically. The first time she kidded last year, she gave us little Miss Abilene, so she just had a single kid. Hoping for at least twins out of her this year. She had a really, really pretty udder. I'd like to see it, see it nice and full. Um, and as well, it will help her lose weight if she has more kids, because she'll be producing more milk. All right, Anna is done. Feet look good. Now I gotta get Elsa. Emily, can you try to get Elsa for me? Get up on that stand, big girl. Do you guys see how wide this girl is here? She is not fat. That is baby. Elsa here, <clears throat> this is going to be her third freshen. It's the third time having babies. Tell you guys, I'm gonna fill for. I'm gonna try to fill for babies. Her due date is February 22nd, so she's one of the one of the few we have actually that are that are due first. And which our first due date here on the on the ranch is gonna be February 22nd. And she's looking really big, so it would be really cool. She's given us triplets twice, um, but as wide as she's looking, she might be our first twin. So that would be really cool because she is really wide. About, yeah, two and a half months in, so we'll see. Miss Elsa here is actually Everest's mom, or dam, and she really, really produces some really nice kids. She earned her milk star, or her title for making a lot of milk, as a first freshener. She's got really nice big teats. I really like this dough. 
Just gonna feel for babies on Elsa because she's so big. But it's usually about three months before you can actually feel the babies move around. I'm not feeling anything. Nope. Darn it. Soon. Okay. Alright, well, we're done in this pen. We're going to move the stand over to the next pen and get those girls done. Tammy's going to be our first volunteer. She's jumping right up here, so. Literally volunteer. Cammy is also, look out baby, back up a little. Cammy's also looking really wide. She is February 22nd as well, one of the first to give birth. And this will be her fourth time kidding. So she's given us quads, quads, and last year she got triplets. She had triplets. No baby movement yet, but she's looking pretty wide. I'm gonna say she's she's got at least triplets again. I'm hoping. But you never know. I hope she's getting wide before else. Oh, look at your little feetsies, girl. Again, keep these pregnant girls' hooves trimmed. Always keep their hooves trimmed, but especially when they're carrying so much weight. This is Skye. We call her Big Montana because she's, she's really just overweight, a lot overweight. So she already looks like she's about to pop, but she's not. Her due date is February 23rd, um, and this is that's her sixth kidding? Maybe even her seventh. I'd have to look that up. But she's had quite a few babies for us, and she gives us really, really pretty babies. Shilly is one that we actually retained out of her and her and Champ um, are a really good combination make pretty babies so we'll see last year she gave us two so she's always given us twins um, or quads with the exception of Shilly that's the only single she's actually ever given us so we'll see how many she's got it's crazy how quick their feet can actually grow, grow. some does don't grow quick like this. You guys will see it. I'll get Lacey next because her feet are awesome like Lucky's, which is where Lucky got it from. But some hooves grow quicker than others. Just like there's some girls out there can grow their fingernails in a week they're an inch long. And then there's girls like me. Takes me six months to get them an eighth of an inch long. So. Come here, girl. Thank you. All right, sweet girl. Come on, Dan. Done. <laughs> Come on. This doe here, she is eight years old. So is Skye. Skye's about six months younger than her. And they're sisters, half sisters. They both have the same sire, same dad. She's a really deep bodied doe. She hides her babies very well. You never know what she's going to have. But she pretty much always gives us twins. Last year she gave us a single. Lacey here is one of our really good foundation does. We have a lot of kids out of her. 
I was telling you, this is Lucky's mom. This is Little Bit's mom. And this is Lily's mom. And also Lodi's grandma. She's a really good doe, so we like to keep a lot of her a lot of her blood throughout our herd. She makes a ton of milk. With really ni nice teats as well. Strong feet are important. is Miss Maddie. She likes to hawk in and drop. It's really fun in the show ring, which actually when we're in the show ring she does a lot better. Here at home she's like, no. Look at that. She'd be like, what in the world happened here? What is going on, Maddie? That is not how you naturally stand. She's a really pretty doe. Um, she's out of May and Lucky. Her due date is March 12th. She's got a little bit to go. Look at her feet. Let's get that funky cleaned up. What do you say, girl? This will be Maddie's fourth kidding, fourth freshen. I'm lucky through much larger teats on her because. Obviously, Lacey is her mom, his mom, and Lacey has really big teats. Okay, so yeah, Maddie gives us singles or twins. Last year it was a single buckling. He was gorgeous. Calm down, girl. Let's see. That's a lot better. All right, she's the last one in here. Now down to Everest's girls. This here is Miss Shilly. She is due February 28th. This will be her second freshen, her second kidding. And last year she gave us two really, really pretty kids. So a boy and a girl. Hoping she gives at least that again. She's looking pretty wide. She almost looks like she's chunking up, but when I check her, she's not. I always feel right here by their armpit. If you can feel a big glob of fat there, they're fat. And then here on their tail, you can feel if there's an awful lot of flesh on their tail. You should be able to feel the bone a little, but not like a complete skeleton. But that's where you check to see if they're overweight. And she's not. So she's actually looking pretty wide too. Really pretty goat. Huh, girl. This is the doe that we retained out of Sky and Champ. Shilly was the first baby born here at our new property here, so we kept her. And she's gorgeous. She actually as a junior, she won best in show, which is the top win you can you can get at a show, at a goat show. It means she won grand champion against the other Nigerian dwarfs, and then all of the other breeds come into the ring to compete who is the best one out of all the breeds. And little Miss Shilly took that as a junior, which again is the best award you can get in the goat show. All right, girl. You ready, Abilene? She's not familiar with the stand. She doesn't know. She's 
gonna get that way. Come on, girl. <laughs> Come on. Up here, up here, up here. Look at this girl's eyes. She's got the best eyes. Let's see. Can we see? Can we see? They're marbled. Blue and brown. They're so pretty. Let's see it. <laughs> Abilene is our only first freshener this year. So she is our... The only one we have that's going to be a first timer. Her due date is going to be March 9th, and this is the the doe that we retained out of Anna and and Lucky's breeding. So it'll be interesting. I can already tell she's got nice nice teat size for a little thing that haven't been filled yet. So I think she's going to have big teats. Her mom has big teats, plus Lucky throws big teats because of his mom, Lacey. So it'll be really nice to see to see these kids. And girl, and she's just the sweetest little thing. Temperament, I love it. Her little feetsies aren't too bad. Cute little feet. But that, of course, is only because Lucky has good feet. Er, because Lacey has good feet thrown on Lucky, and Lucky do it on Ubby. Yep. Hey, Cammy, I love you. Your turn, Lily. Bye, sweetie. Bye bye. Run along. This thing looks like you're about to put it on three. Okay. I love the width on this girl. Super wide. Hold your legs like they're supposed to be. Super wide. She's super deep bodied, just like her mama, Lacey. I really like this stone. She's looking pretty darn wide too. So she just had uh, Lodi last year, just a single. I bet you she'll have two this year at least. Hopefully. So her due date, Miss Lily here, is the 22nd of February. There's one, another one of the first ones bred on day one. And it will be her second freshen. So again, she just gave us Lodi last time, just a single. And she did really, really good with the single. I always worry a little with the first fresheners given singles because Single babies tend to be really big, but she's a really wide doe. She passed her really easy, so. <laughs> and as you can see, she's got good feet like her, like her mama. John, baby. All right, bye, girl. Maybe. Oh. Come on. This is Mayo. She is one of my favorite kids. Um, she's out of May and Lucky. Um, so she's got the bigger teats than May, which is which is awesome and just kind of a spitting image of May really so a couple of years of development and getting bigger and deeper bodied uh, I think she's gonna do awesome in the ring just like her mama I love this doe so this is gonna be her second freshen she gave us two gorgeous gorgeous little bucks and last year as her first time and hoping for two gorgeous, gorgeous does this year. We'll see. She's looking a little wide herself, so she just might have twins in there. Chill out, dude. She's super sweet, but can be very ornery like her mother, too. She definitely thinks she's in charge. No, girl.
Move up. Move up. Surrender. Surrender. This here is May. She's my showgirl. She's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, she's won many titles in the ring. And just has really, really pretty babies. So breeding her with Everest this year. We have, um, you know, we have some. We have three that we trained out of Lucky and May. They have great kids. Merle is the buck we kept. Maddie is is one of the does, and Mayo, who I just trimmed hooves. Um, all of them are out of May and Lucky. So I really want to see an Everest and Mayo combination because Everest threw just the widest little kids on with Mayo last year. So hoping for a doe in this belly here. Her due date, she's either going to be February 22nd um, or March 12th. We're going to have to keep an eye out on that one. So that one was kind of the same. Um, I'm thinking more towards March 12th, really, because she always has kids at the same time as Maddie. Um, ever since she was born anyway. So this is going to be May's fifth kidding and she always gives us twins or singles. Three twins and then a single twice. So, sorry, this will be her sixth kidding. She's had five, this will be her sixth. Love this doe though. She's very honorary though. Because she knows she's so pretty. She's a snob, huh, May? Your feet need it done bad. Calm down, girl. Three pins done, two more to go. All done, Henri. She's looking awful fluffy. Not a I know, maybe she'll give us triplets for the first time. What do you think? Will you? No? Now you're mad? Fine. I'm not touching a I'm a This is sweet, sweet Cassie. She is just sweet as can be like her mama Cammie. Um, she has really nice large teats like Cammie as well. Which, obviously, as you guys can tell, is a big thing with the Nigerians. It's, uh, it's good to have larger teats. Sometimes it makes them a little hard to milk if they're too little. But, um, this is going to be her second kidding. She's due March 3rd. So, the second time she's going to have babies. The first, uh, last year, she gave us two babies. So, we'll see what she's got in here. She's really not looking too wide. But... She's pretty early on into the into her gestation, so we'll we'll see. Hoping she gives us at least twins again. She's got really pretty moon spots. And then her last kids, they were just two solid black. One of the does had a little bit of white on her pole, but that's it. No spots out of those kids. So hopefully we'll get some spots out of them this year. You got some good feet too, girl. Done it is. Nice misdirection there on Dawn, Crystal. Dawn didn't even know you wanted to get her. I know, I was totally planned out the whole time. All right, this is Miss Dawn. She's a stinker, but she is gorgeous. She, you think her, her, her due date is February 22nd, and this is gonna be her fifth time giving us kids. You're all done, girl, it's not your turn. Um, so she's always given us quads and triplets, so she, actually last year it was twins, so I lied about that. But either way, she, she typically gives us a lot of kids, so, and she's a really deep-bodied doe, so she hides them well also, but 
She's looking pretty full here, and she's not a fat goat. Will you stop biting me, girl? Getting jealous? So, as always, Dawn's, Dawn's one of the favorites, so everybody likes to see her kids. She's just very flashy. She makes a lot of milk, too, so. All right, you're going to have to go away. All right, Dawn. Run away. All right, you go up that way, baby girl. All right. Yeah. Yes. Hi, yes. No. No, no. Kathy, Kathy. This is pretty little, little bit, another favorite of mine. She is a daughter of Lacey, and she just really, really produces a lot of milk. She earned her Milk Star as a first freshener, first time that she, she milked. Um, so it's always really good when they can get their star early on into their, into their production. So pretty neat. Um, she gives us really pretty kids. This is going to be her fifth freshen. Uh, her fifth time kidding. And last year she gave us Laura, who who we sold. I was planning on retaining, but so hopefully I'll get to keep a really pretty doe out of her. Um, I think her and Merle. Her and Merle have really really pretty kids. Um, so and this girl too, as a as a junior, she won uh, her first champion leg. So really really nice breeding. This girl. Due date is March 9th. Last doe to trim, and then we gotta go over to the little guys, the Weathers and Miss Lodi. What is too small to So, we got all of the does, the pregnant does anyway. Um, all their hooves are trimmed. So, I'm going to add the big girls together gonna, right now. And then what I'm going to... Cassie, you're a camera hog girl. Come here. Anyway, Cassie. Oh, smudged the lens. No, she didn't. She just got the side. She almost did. You go back over there, Cassie. Such a baby. Uh, so anyway, we're gonna we're gonna put all the does together right now, and then I'm gonna go to the weather pen and get Lodi and the three weathers get get them trimmed up. So, but here we go. We're gonna introduce the girls back together. Hopefully, they won't be too rough on each other. Being pregnant at all, they're they're pretty feisty when they're pregnant. So we'll see how this goes. Adding them all together, hopefully, it'll go a lot better than just a few at a time. You ready, girl? You ready, Emily? Yep. Step to this side of the gate, Emily. Roll, there you go. Emily. 
a waffle. Girls, be nice, be nice. Alright, while they're figuring all this out, I'm gonna go get the other goat stuff around so I can get their hooves trimmed and get them in here. There they go. Let's over here, let's go over here to fight. This is little Miss Lodi. She is the baby that she's the baby out of out of Lily. But 
she got sick um, when she was younger so it really set her back growth wise um, so we we did not breed her this year but she's an awesome little doe can't wait to be able to breed her because she, she's really gorgeous but that's the deal with Miss Lodi so she'll be next year bred hoping she doesn't be able to jupe out of these holes because she's really grown a lot the last couple of months she's put on a lot of pounds here are you ready? are you ready? Let's see, that's your mama. Oh. Get her. Let's hurry up and get her a weather. Pick up for her a little bit, Darren, if needed. All right. So I finally have all of my doughs back together again in the pen. Really, really, really happy about that. They're kind of acting a fool today, obviously. It'll take them a couple hours to, or all throughout the evening, <laughs> before they get that all settled out and figure out who's in charge again and make sure they all know who isn't going to get picked on and so forth. So we got these three weathers in here too. But very, very, very glad to have these girls back together. So you guys, don't forget to get on the notification list if you are interested in one of these goats, uh, one of the babies. Um, the notification list will be in the description below, a link so that you can sign up for it. And a lot of you have already signed up for that, so I got my girls back. So thank you guys. Make sure you're subscribed, and we will see you again soon.